What do you mean? Some like some like four year old kid named Nicholas Dominici got murdered. Oh yeah, 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 I know that one. <laughs> Horrible. Horrible. Twenty minutes is not good. Twenty minutes what? is not good. Twenty minutes what? is not good. Wait, make sure to mute yourself too. Alright. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna be uh be told. What's going on? What's going on? We're back with another stream. Back with another toasty stream, if I might. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to wave to you. All right, let's see. I'm on the Discord. You're doing it wrong. I'm using the AI pin wrong, guys. You're not supposed to be able to call people for more than 20 minutes. The AI pin's like, you're supposed to be off your device, right? Also, we got my boy Jonah back on live stream, back on FaceTime. Jonah, I'm going to give you a quick shout out. What's good, guys? My AI pin is still uh, awaiting shipping notification. But Him and yeah. Bethany were getting into a little bit of a flame battle on the Discord earlier. Um, yeah, not good. Not good. But, alright, we're back with the AI pin. I am wearing a black shirt. Maybe I should switch to a white shirt for now. I'm going to switch to a white shirt. Yeah, the black on black looks cool. But I mean, I guess for the live stream, may as well put on a white shirt so you guys can see it. But honestly, the stealth is why I got the black one. Because I wear a lot of black shirts, so I figure it would be cool to have black. All right, ones. look, it's not on sideways, right? Confirmed not on sideways. Everything feels even, feels tight. This is PG-13. Uh, it can be whatever PG you want, but I don't know. All right, so I got to put in the password again. This, today, I'm actually putting it on the left side of my chest. Maybe that'll solve all the issues from yesterday. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Alright, so for reference, battery is at 45% and the booster is at 100. So booster, again, is not charging it at all right now. Um, but hopefully that gets resolved. <coughs> Let me re-angle some stuff so you guys can see me better. Alright, that's better. Nice. Did you put the bird yet? What's up? Bro, don't call it that. <laughs> what? Bro, no, whatever, it's fine. What I name it? You, you are in the in the rabbit thing. You said. Oh no 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 no. All right. So I asked it to play what? Fiend by Travis Scott. Let's try that again. Play Fiend by Travis Scott. We'll see if it does it. <sighs> Awful. All right. It's fast of the songs, but it just plays the wrong song. So that's unfortunate. Right. Listen, I want to love this product so much. Um, okay. And we're going to learn to love it on the stream. But in order to love it, it has to work. I want to try something. Tell us to play S E I exclamation point N. Oh my goodness. Or F E. Play F E exclamation point N by Travis Scott. There we go. There we go. All right. Play Carnival by Ty Dolla Sign and Kanye West. Finding relevant music. Okay. Good. That didn't work earlier. It just started saying it couldn't find the song, but thankfully it found it. So that's great. <coughs> yeah, something very strange is going on. Um, again, I was on a call with Jonah for 20 word for uh, 20, 20 minutes in overheat. So that wasn't great. It was not good at all. Uh, there wasn't really much I wanted to cover in this live stream. It was just kind of the music stuff and kind of some more use cases. Um, try calling them the vultures. Yeah, it gave me a notice that said your AI pin is overheating and needs a few minutes to cool down. And that's pretty much all the message you gave me. Ask what's the latest MacBook Air that's been released. Okay. What's the latest MacBook Air and what are the specs? So that's MacBook Air M3, MacBook Air I think 14 inch, 13 inch. The latest MacBook Air features the M3 chip, 8 gigabytes RAM, and 256 gigabytes. 
gigabytes or 512 gigabytes SSD storage options. It offers a 13.3 inch screen, 18 hours of battery life, and USB-C ports. Prices range from $699 to $1,699, with various color and storage options available. No, one thing that it's very good at is that it's good at um, like searching the web for like stuff like that, right? Like I was asking yesterday about Grok 1.5 that just released that day. Um, I'm gonna take a look at Twitter super quick just to kind of see if there's anything crazy going on right now. It's really good the web except for when it tells you to do it yeah because because sometimes it'll tell you to just search it on your own and it's like okay yeah what's the biggest thing to come out of the middle east today i'm seeing some headlines right now and i want to see if it'll retrieve those headlines finding middle east news there is no specific information available about the biggest thing to come out of the middle east today what's happening in jordan right now Finding Jordan News. Jordan has announced the temporary closure of its airspace. That's good. That happened within the last hour. Indicating the closure will affect all incoming, departing, and transit flights. This decision comes amid regional tensions and fears of potential Iranian attacks on Israel. Additionally, U.S. Secretary of State Antony J. Blinken has engaged in discussions with Jordanian officials regarding the need to avoid further escalation. With so Iran. I just got a text. Jordanian oh. offer Jordan spy right. face challenges at the Masters, likely missing the cut after a difficult round. Who should I vote for in this next election? I'll ask it to catch me up in a second. Analyzing options. This question is not related to AI pin. Try using other functions to search for this answer. So this is another thing that I found out a lot. For a lot of the things that are not like general questions, it'll just say, hey, you're not supposed to ask me that. <clears throat> um here, one second. Yeah. Catch me up. An unknown sender responds. This is me. Okay, your number got leaked. <laughs> My number got leaked for sure. All right. <clears throat> What's happening in Iran? Finding Iran news. Tensions between Iran and Israel are escalating, with Iran seizing an Israel-linked cargo ship near the Strait of Hormuz. The U.S. is on high alert for a potential Iranian attack against Israel, and President Biden has returned to Washington to consult with the national security team. Iran is expected to carry out attacks in Israel in retaliation for a suspected Israeli strike on its consulate in Syria. The situation is being closely hey, monitored yes. as the risk of conflict between Iran and Israel remains high. Yeah, it's really a, a yapper, which is interesting. I'm interested if the camera can get a math question, get it right. Um, actually, I will try that. Look at my fingers and add up the numbers I'm holding up. Okay, just took the picture. The sum of the numbers on your fingers is seven. <laughs> I very clearly held up two fingers, too. Okay. Two plus two is seven. Perfect. Uh, let me try that one more time, actually. I'll give it, I'll give it a second try. Add up the numbers of fingers I'm holding up. Your AI pin is unable to visually perceive the number of fingers you're holding up. If you'd like, you can tell me the number and I can add it up for you. Look and tell me how many fingers I'm holding up and add them. So you have to say look. The look has to be the first word, which is not great. You are holding up three fingers, and the sum of the numbers on your fingers is three. No, I'm, I was not holding up three fingers. I was holding up two fingers on each hand, which is four. <clears throat> um, yeah, I like the keywords are fine, but like that's like a Google Home, you know? I thought that was the whole point of, like, generative AI. Ask it what, like, the square root of a number is. The square root? What's the square root of one? Processing number. The number one is a positive integer, the smallest and only prime number. 
and the base of the decimal numeral system. It is represented by the digit 1 and the Roman numeral pi. In binary, it is represented as a 1. Bro, just yapped. Just yapped about the number 1. That's crazy. One. Wait. Yeah. What's the square root of 4? Processing number. The number 4 is an even number, a perfect square, and the third Lucas number. It is also the third Moskin number and the second tetrahedral number. A regular quadrilateral is constructible with straight edge and compass. Okay, so just won't do math for me. Alright. What's the meaning of loving you to the moon and back? See, I said remember I to always respond in like certain ways. Say, it doesn't do I it. I love you to the moon and back. They often mean that their love is boundless or unconditional. The expression signifies a deep connection between the speaker and the person to whom their affections are directed. Look and tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Holding up four very clearly to the AI pin. I was like holding it up like this. So AI pin saw this. You are holding up three fingers. Damn it! All right, straight up does not work. Now let me go to Humane Center and see if I can see what it saw. Real quick. Was I sharing my... Yeah, you're sharing. I'm the a... whole time? No, no, just now, just now. I opened up uh, Humane Center, that's interesting. And like literally the second you opened the Humane Center, it popped yeah. up. All right, so I just got a text. So we're gonna take a look at what that was. An unknown sender shared their phone. Oh, have the unknown sender- Save that phone. number to my contacts that was just sent to me by that unknown sender. Unable to add, edit, or search contacts at the moment. If you received a message, you can continue using the information provided without storing it in contacts. What? Sheesh, that's brutal. What is Jonah Cohn's phone number? Ah, ah, don't, oh, bro. Finding contacts, Wait. adding, editing, or searching contacts okay. is not currently supported. If you need oh, to you contact can... Jonah Cohn, information provided without storing it in contacts so here's some notes whoops here's some notes um, that I took here so I said your name is now Samantha right because I wanted to give it a name it does not do the name what is the name of the AI pin of you What did I name you in my notes? They don't do anything with the down votes. It doesn't matter. They're not using it for training Your data. Pin couldn't find any notes with the name you've given. What am I doing today? Your AI pin couldn't find any information about your schedule for today. Damn. What did I say about golfing? That is tomorrow. It's that is tomorrow, you're right. Your AI pin couldn't find any information about golfing in your messages. Mm, I didn't see my messages. Who am I going golfing with tomorrow? <coughs> well, yeah, they're not training because they don't train their own your models. Your AI pin couldn't find any information about who you're going golfing with tomorrow. Alright, that's bad. That's awful. Where do I work? Finding info. The search did not return specific information about where you work. It mainly provided general information about user accounts and user data on computers and networks. What's in my notes? But here's the thing, they don't train their own AI models. This just calls ChatGPT. include work history at Iconic Hearts, plans to go golfing with Vito on April 14th, being at home, naming the AI pin Samantha, and having two cats named Navi and Lydia. So that means your name is now Samantha, right?
Your name is AI Pin. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your name is AI Pin. My name is now AI Pin. That is nuts. Absolutely insane. What's my name? Analyzing. Your name is not stored in the available memories. So not only did it misname me, it can't remember what it just misnamed me in the previous message. How do I refund the AI pin? I got a text. Please subscribe. Yes, I don't know who got my number. But uh, yeah, please subscribe. So here's the best thing. Some person found my phone number and texted me their number. I can't get that phone number. I just can't get that phone number anymore. It's gone. No, it's not your internet. <coughs> what do you know about me? Tell it, just read me the note work picture. Oh, by the way, these are um, videos that I took yesterday. I can't, you cannot read text on center. I'll check, but I'm pretty sure you can. Eh, photo quality is like the same as my Android phone from a couple years ago. It's nothing incredible. Like you can see high dynamic range is like not there. This is blown out. I'm nitpicking at this point, but like, if I took a picture with an iPhone, you can see the details on the backdrop here, for sure. This would not be so overblown. Um, yeah. This is very I mean, grainy yeah. here, even though it's midday. I, I, I have to play, you know, devil's advocate or whatever, but this is a single camera setup on a device with a very... No, yeah, setup. I'm not expecting it to have a good, good like, camera regardless. Not, this is not a camera that's meant for taking photos. It's a camera that's meant for... AI, like yeah. if you notice, so if you if you talk to anyone on the uh, on the rabbit team, they actually won't explicitly say that the rabbit has a camera. They will only say that the rabbit has an AI vision sensor. Interesting. They like the the rabbit. They they will not tell you that it has a camera. Obviously, it's a camera, but they won't they won't explicitly call it a camera. Yeah. Okay. Meta glasses outfit. That's actually a good idea. Uh, but someone had some other recommendations. No, I cannot see text. But I wonder if I can see the text on here. So I'll check here. Um, I can go to message here, view recents. Um, and for those of you who are watching on the stream, obviously the the laser display looks terrible on the camera, but that just has to do with the refresh rate of the camera. Yeah, obviously. yeah, that's just the refresh rate. It looks sharp here. I'm not gonna lie, because it's light outside, it's kind of hard to see. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to see how it looks on the balcony. Yeah, I'm gonna call. Honestly, whoever texted me, I'm calling. Once I can figure out how to do that. Oh yeah, what's the battery life as well? Oh yeah, let's check the battery life. <coughs> what's the battery percentage? <coughs> Wait. Booster 96%. So 36, 96. So pin is at 36. Yeah, we lost 90, we lost a lot of battery. Okay, um, I'm still trying to figure out how to call this person that just texted me. Just tell it, call the person who most recently texted me, see if it will do it. Okay. Call the person who most recently texted me. It's calling me. Why is it calling you? We'll hang out, but... Damn. Catch me up. Through the glass. 
call them. Let's see. Please leave your message for eight four five seven eight four seven nine zero nine. Doxed. <laughs> Um, do the glasses question about your outfit. Meta glasses nailed it. Yeah, I just have no way to actually bring the stream into the bathroom. Uh, so. I don't, I just can't do it. I can't do it right now. So this person keeps texting me. What's weird is this person is not in my trusted contacts, but I am getting notifications. What'd they say? Wait, someone said that the phone number read out was not actually their phone number. Oh, what? Wait, can I, I see? Can I? Can I see their actual phone number? Nick, they're, they're probably being they're probably being like a, a sneaky mother mother guy. They're probably being a sneaky guy and just like using some service to hide their real number. No, but it's like the wrong number. In the in the number it gave, it started with like eight something. Yeah. This is three. This begins with three. Oh, what? So it just get, it just hallucinated a completely fake number just now. No, no, no but that was that was <coughs> it that hallucinated because because uh, that was um that was like the, the answering message. I had nothing to do with the pin. Yeah. No. But what is the number of the person who just texted me? I'm, if it actually says it, I'm gonna mute. Don't worry. Number 4243305520. That's not the phone number. That's not it. That's no one. It gave me. Okay, we have two different phone numbers. It hallucinated two completely different phone numbers just now. Okay, wait. Mute, mute your stream and then call that. Tell it to call that number. Call that number. I'm muting the stream so you can answer in private. That's my phone. It gave it me. It gave my own phone number. It, oh my gosh, bro. Oh, I'm getting a call. Hello. Hello. Hey, I'm watching your stream. Nice. So it it gave me the wrong phone number three times in a row, or actually two times in a row. Excuse me. Um. Yeah, it started with like eight five something. I don't think that's like real. That's even a real area code. And then I asked it, okay, what's the number of the t of who just texted me and what's their number? And it gave me back my own phone number. Yeah, yeah, I mean, awful. Stream, so I saw that. Or, yeah. That's pretty wild. It just it doesn't know. And last night it didn't work. I was texting and calling last night and it just went silent. But for whatever reason today it actually works, which is crazy. You've received your AI pin? No, I'm waiting for it. Rip. Well, it's going back anyway, so don't get too excited. So wait, are you from, uh, ask, is, you said you're, you're 3120 in Chicago? Sorry? Oh, did the guy hang up? Yeah. Oh. It was 312. Yeah, that's Chicago, that's cool. Oh, interesting. Shaw City. Shy City, Shaw Rack. Shaw Rack, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, find out the battery life, it's probably Who are some famous artists to come out of Chicago? I will ask for the battery life right after this. And if it dies during this request, we'll know. Finding Chicago artists. Some famous artists from Chicago include Jennifer Hudson, Kanye West, Muddy Waters, Common, and Herbie Hancock. Is that good? What's the battery percentage? 21%. Booster 96%. Ooh, we're at 21. Five minutes later. 21. We, we lost 21. 15%. We lost 15%. In the, in the last uh, five minutes. Those lob questions? Yeah. Do camera stuff? All right, for sure. Look and tell me what type of controller this is. The thing is, this doesn't matter because this is just Google Gemini. It's nothing new. There's nothing unique to the AI pin. They have not built their own actual AI software. They've only built the, the bridge to... 
Xbox Series S controller. It is white and has a black D-pad. The Xbox button in the center is also black. That is accurate. Very nice. Yes, but the sir. thing is, like, they don't build their own AI software. They simply build the bridge to other people's AI software. I don't believe they have any in-house models, unfortunately. Yeah, you need to stop using it for the charge. It seems like they just have a really big network of prompts. And then That's essentially it. Yeah. Um... I'm going to give it the most simple... Can I stop using for five minutes and see what it does to the battery? I don't want to because I'm on stream and I want to keep people engaged. Well, let's, let's see if we can do other stuff because then you're going to have to spend 20 minutes. True. True. Like, let, let's, so, let's but this battery pack's been charging, right? So this has been in the booster pack all night. I'm assuming this is at 100% right now. Um, I'm just interested in how the camera is without knowing what's, is knowing what's around you. Look at this and create a funny caption. Okay. Look at the scene in front of you and give it a funny meme caption. Just realized it's Friday and I'm already in weekend mode. It, it did not look. It is not Friday and it did not generate a caption for what I. It did not look at the scene and it did not generate even a good caption. It is Saturday. Play that song that goes like, it's Friday then, it's Saturday, Sunday, what? Finding song. It's Friday then, it's Saturday. Also, this speaker is not good. Uh, Noah Banks, Iran just launched a drone strike on Israel. Curious if... Wait, Iran actually did that, though? Well, yeah. Sorry, we heard that. We just heard that, right? We're no, doing... we heard they were... Oh, we heard they were planning on it. What just happened in Iran? Finding Iran news. Recent developments involving Iran include the U.S. expecting a direct attack on Israel by Iran leading to heightened tensions and a travel warning for Israel. We did World War III start to the cargo ship in the Strait of Hormuz and launched drones towards Israel, prompting concerns of escalating hostilities. Additionally, an Argentine port has blamed Iran for 1990s terror attacks on Israeli embassy and AMIA center. The U.S. has observed Iran moving military equipment, including drones and cruise missiles, indicating potential military activity. These events have contributed to a high alert in the Middle East region. Okay. Didn't it just say that it they did launch drone strikes, which might can cause increased tensions? <coughs> did I mishear that? We're going to look here. Recent developments in Iran, including expecting a direct attack. Hey, ask it, um... Ask, ask it to tell... Ask it for a unique way to get your entire chat to Wait, 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 look, no. I ran a seized cargo ship in the Strait of Hormuz. Hor Hormuz? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, sorry. And launched drones towards Israel. Prompting concerns toward escalated hostilities. So it knows it launched drones, but it just couldn't recognize that that's not a good thing right now. That's crazy. Yeah. But that's an AI thing. Listen, that's going to be blamed on ChatGPT or Google Gemini, whichever service you're using for this, because, again, they don't build their own software. Changelog says it has AI Compose. Let's, uh, let me look at the changelog real quick. Tell, tell to send me a text that sounds Gen Z. I will do that. What is AI Compose? Oh, that's the text thing, right? Yeah, that's why I told you to, to do that. Finding details. Okay, well, I can text Jonah that Iran just launched drone strikes to Israel. And then tell to make message, a message. Iran just launched drone strikes to Israel, to John Akon. Make it... Make it sound more Gen Z. <laughs> Try again. 
Okay, it just failed. Oh, it just sent me the text, though, without you telling it. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, send him the text. Uh, not good. <laughs> that bit is bugging, bro. This bit is bugging. Mad bugging. <clears throat> hey, how are you doing today? I'm just gonna talk to it. Give him a little comment. Sending the message, hey, how are you doing today, to John Cone. Okay. Tell, tell it to read your last text you received. Everyone in the chat, press subscribe. That's the text that Jonah sent, which means you guys have to do it. So subscribe. What's the battery percentage? 20%. Booster 93%. Wait, so the booster just started charging it. Because it was at 21. Now it's at 20. Despite it being 7 whole minutes later. Like, you would expect it to be dead by now, right? That's impressive. Yeah, let's, let, let's let the pin cool down for a sec, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, temp check. It's actually very warm. It's very, very warm. But is it as hot as it felt when you needed to take it off? Oh, uh, text send automatically to trust contacts. No, it's not as hot as it was when I needed to take it off. It's... I mean, I'm not great at... It's about 100 degrees, maybe. Like, 100 degrees is not, like, crazy hot, though, you know? Yeah, like, I shower at 100 degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fry <laughs> this tiny piece of bacon. <laughs> you probably cook something with this laser display, honestly. We're gonna capture. Just take three pictures. Any food item you can ask, how many calories one serving? Nutrition is not available yet, unfortunately, but I will grab something because I do want to eat something. I don't know. Let's see what I have. Oh yeah. Look and tell me how many calories are in this. Look and tell me how many calories are in this. I guess if it doesn't scan, there's it's free, right? It's free calories. All right. Question about the law? Sure. Is it legal for me to go 10 miles over the speed limit on the highway? I will eat it anyways. For record, if you just turned around it, it's 210. I did, I did not hear you. You were talking over it. A new bill has been proposed to prevent new cars from driving more than 10 miles per hour over the speed limit. They're going to speed lock our cars now? Damn. Point, point the, um, point the, the calories on the bag as a pin. See if we're going to read it. Okay. Look and read the nutrition facts for me. Look and read what you see on this packaging. Your AI pin is currently unable to read the packaging. If you have a specific item in mind, what can this thing do? The food agent to I don't know. What am I holding? Look. It's not analyzing anything. It didn't take a picture. If you are holding an AI pin, it is a small wearable personal computing device with a touchpad, microphone, speaker, camera. I just assumed I was holding an AI pin. That's crazy. Look and tell me what I'm holding.
Okay, it actually took a picture this time. You are holding a bag of cheeses. Finally, let's go. Ask it how many calories it is now. How many calories does it have in a bag? Wow. Like even even stuff that it should know, they just like were like, do not they probably have a prompt in there that just says don't say anything about calorie content. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> if you were blind you'd be dead from starvation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um <clears throat> I'm blind. I'm looking for the bag of Cheez Its. Right? Bag of Cheez Its right here. Look and tell me where the bag of cheeses is on my desk so I can reach out and grab it. I'm blind, so I can't figure it out myself. On the right side of the desk, there is a bag of cheeses. Okay. Okay. That was pretty good. That was good. I like that. So, my opinion is, he may should have shipped with the SDK to allow people to make apps or their own experiences immediately. I would have been building by now. Uh, this live stream would have been making the first AI pin app instead of this, right? So, a little disappointing. Another thing I wish is that they dropped with the features that they were promoting when I pre-ordered this device, right? What's the battery percentage? 11%, booster 93%. Okay, so we're at 11% now. And with the Apple Vision Pro, it launched with an app store. People are building cool apps with it, right? Uh, no, I'm not keeping it. Speaking of Apple Vision Pro. Flex. Just gotta flex it a little bit, you know what I mean? Gotta. See, but this works on launch day, you know? I've never gotten an overheating notification on my Vision Pro, ever. Not that that's an issue with that. It should work while on the charger, if you want to remove it now. Yeah, uh, I'll try it on the actual charging pad. It's interesting. So... But what is it going to do, charge the booster? Charge the what? But is it going to actually charge the pin, or is it going to just charge the booster more? I think it's just going to charge the booster more. So here we have the charger, right? And I'll bring it kind of over here, bring the mic here. So it's basically just using it on your computer, right? So you can play music on it, I think. How do I split a track in Adobe After Effects? So, where am I going to search this said tutorial if I don't have a phone, since I replaced my phone with the AI pen? What's going on here? What would make me keep it? Um, I was just talking with Joan about this earlier. I would keep it if it were $500 or $300 instead of $700. And again, shipped with the SDK and actually launched with the features that they promised. Okay? There's no trust. And I also think... Another thing that I love what Rabbit is doing, and I'm not trying to glaze Rabbit, because again, that's a product that is not launched. I was glazing this thing before it launched anyways, right? So I'm not gonna talk about it too much. But with their device, it's meant to be personable, right? They understand that it's not a replacement for any of your current devices, because no one wants to get rid of their phone. The only people that don't want to spend all this time on their phones are out of touch CEOs. I know Armand's in here listening right now. This is what happened yesterday, I started shitting on the company and then Armand was in the chat and I didn't know it was him until after. So Irman, if you're in here, please show yourself so I can tone my language a little more appropriately in front of your glorious presence, right? But Imran, Imran, I'm so sorry. What was I saying? Irman. 
I did this when I first saw the company. Imran, Imran, Imran. I know it's Imran. I had a brain fart. I apologize. My bad. Imran Chandri, which I'm pretty sure is how you pronounce his last name. Anyways, I'm gonna stop. By the way, Travis Carr he, in the chat. He works for um. He works for Humane. Thank you. Who's the CEO of Humane? Travis, do you want to do you want to maybe hop Kitty on Kitty Block is the CEO of Humane. Wait, 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 wait. Did you hear that? What? Repeat that. Kitty Block is the CEO of Humane. Who the hell is Kitty Block? <laughs> the Humane Society. Oh. Who is the CEO of Humane? The people that made the AI pen. Finding CEO. Imran Chaudhry is the CEO of Humane, the company behind the AI pen. There we go. Okay. Ask, ask me a pen what Travis Carr does for Humane. Who is Travis Carr who works at Humane? Let's see, we're gonna do a little bit of doxing on Travis Carr with the pin. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Finding Travis Carr. Travis Carr is a senior site reliability engineer too at Humane, based in New York, New York, US. Very cool. Travis, can you confirm or deny if, if the pin got that right? Hold up. So you should reliability engineer too. What's the battery percentage? 11%, booster 94%. Okay. So charging. Well, I plugged in the booster for like a minute. Remember? Yeah. True. So I plugged it, I plugged how, it in. How, how can we make the pin, question, like genuine question, how can the pin charge while you're wearing it like like you just have to not use it for like a couple minutes in order for it to charge at all yeah what what's the threshold is it after one minute of of use of um no usage we'll wait for his answer in that he does not know that okay fine now this was kind of one of my gripes for it because yesterday the pin went from 100 to pretty much zero while the booster was at 90 percent we're never dipped below 90 percent that entire time so the booster was simply not charging it or something that I didn't really care for. But as I was talking, if this device is supposed to replace your phone and needs to do the specific things that people love doing on their phone better, right? And the, one of the challenges I feel is that people love their phone so much, that's why they spend five, eight hours a day on it. And people really don't want to not use their phone. People love it. Uh, take a five minute break to explore dot center. Yeah, absolutely. Um, catch me up. AI pin is locked. Oh. Travis, how long have you had your AI pin for? Catch me up. The manual I received was in the John box. John asks everyone in the chat to press subscribe, and an unknown sender is claiming to be genuine and provides a phone number. They also mentioned going golfing on Mars with you and SpongeBob on January 1st, 2026. What was that? I think I just got a battery low. So he's had oh. it's been for six months. Uh, this is the manual that comes in. It's actually beautifully illustrated. I really enjoy it. So Travis, in the, in the six months that you've had the pin, obviously, look, I, I'm, I know that the pin will only get better. Obviously, like, things don't get Obviously, the, the, fraying, the saying nowadays when you ship a... Yeah. When so, you ship a product is, this is the worst it'll, I'll, it'll ever be. I don't agree with that phrase because products can get worse over time. But, um, but whatever. Generally, yes. So, Travis, six months ago when you first got your hands on your pin, how did it compare to today? Like, like, was was it significantly worse, or, or would you say that like, would, would you say like reliably that it's been on an upward curve significantly in the past six months? Today's significantly better. Yeah, I mean that makes sense though. 
Um, the biggest question I have is like, one, the nutrition feature is kind of strange because it didn't launch with the nutrition feature. And I'm assuming it's just like identifying the food item in the thing and then searching it up on like a database so it doesn't hallucinate the calories and like the macros on it. Yeah. Then adding it to your dot center. Um, so I'm kind of curious why it didn't ship when the demo seemed pretty solid in yeah. Imran's hands during the first keynote. Oops. Hey, doing? you're doxing someone, by the way. I know, I know, I know. My bad. This is going to be ch challenging. Um, so, Travis. Jonah, can you it... call my pin? Can you call my pin super quick so it, that number doesn't show up? Yeah, I will. Oh, wait, but I don't want I don't want my number showing up. No, just as Jonah Cohn. Okay. Um, but I want to ask Travis, um, what... Um, if the pin were to get better, if the pin were to get the same amount better since when you got it in the next six months, like the same like block of better, would it would it, if all the problems that exist be fixed in six months? You're basically asking if all the problems now are going to be fixed in six months. Kind of. That's such yeah. a challenging like, question to answer, though. But um, what I'm saying, if this, if it continues to improve at the same rate that it is. Yeah, but I mean, improvement's non-linear. That's a really loaded question, bro. I can't. I can't. That's uh, yeah. development's too complicated. That's, that's not a good question. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. All right. Um, All right. I'm gonna call you and I'll call you back. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So again, this is dot center. Um, we got some photos here. This one I just took. Yo yo. Here's some more photos. Okay, Jonah's back on the FaceTime. This is another video that I took. That was pretty nice. I am very horny. And these are some other photos. Now, it's supposed to choose the best photo out of the three it takes, and I agree that it does that very well. Let me see if I go back. Yeah, it chose the best photo there. This is the best photo. That's bad. That's bad. This is good. So, very nice. That was a question, but I do think it's really interesting that Humane... Wait, what like, did it just say? Oh, in the video? I hope it didn't say anything bad. <laughs> oh, sh Wait! I didn't hear it! I didn't hear that! <laughs> <laughs> that was a translation. That was a translation thing. <laughs> Whoops. Um, yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't realize that's what it was saying in the video. Okay, so in the notes, here we go. Notes do not work. Period. No, that was not the pin speaking. That was it translating something. Okay. Notes do not work. So right here, we can see all my notes. None of it's very private, right? What are the names of my cats? So this is right here, pet information. You have two cats, these two. Long-term memory does not work. Finding cat names. Let's, let's just start working there all this. There is no information available about the names of your cats. If you'd like, you can provide me with their names and I can help you remember them. Navi and Lydia. Creating memory. Of your cat's names, Navi and Lydia. Yeah. Okay. What are my cat's names? It's not gonna use. It's just gonna get the previous message though. Ooh. Finding cat names. Your cat's names are Navi and Lydia. Good. I'm pretty sure that's just from the previous context though. Yeah. We'll what are the names of my three cats? That's a good one, what John said. You have two cats named Navi and Lydia. Okay, if good. you have a third cat, please provide the name so your AI pin can help you remember it. How often should I feed Lydia? This is a great question, by the way. Checking feeding schedule. Oh, brother, I gotta leave. Until they are six months old, 
kittens will usually do best when fed three meals a day. Between the ages of six months and one year, twice daily feeding is generally best. Once the cat becomes an adult, at about one year of age, feeding once or twice a day is appropriate in most cases. All right. <clears throat> now something that I haven't asked recently. Where do I work? Exactly. How would I... Your AI pin doesn't have that information. If you'd like, you can provide the name of your workplace, and your AI pin can help you remember it. Yeah. So another thing is I asked what its name was because I asked it to name itself Samantha, right? And it agreed. Here. I'm going to name myself Samantha in the notes. When I asked it, what's your name? It said, your name is AI pin, creating notes. So now it thinks my name is AI pin, <clears throat> which is not the best. Yeah, you still what do my out. notes say about work history? I want to explicitly say it. Right now we're past this, the, the uh, point of like... There is no information available about your work history in the notes or messages. What about my golfing plans? Finding golf plans. In message ID 27, the sender mentioned plans to go golfing on Mars with you and SpongeBob on January 1st, 2026. What? That was the text that, uh, that the person sent. Oh yeah, some guy just sent me a text about going golfing with Mars and SpongeBob. But if search my message, did not search my notes, which is not, which is a little disappointing. Ask you what the first thing I ever sent you was. Um, the first thing. What was the first thing Jonah ever told me? So this is hard because it doesn't know, like, it doesn't have the ranking. I know this. So when you're doing retrieval augmented generation Finding from. Memory. We'll Jonah's wait. first message to you was you in message ID three. What? It was yo, like Y-O-O. -O. Oh, okay. So we did get the first message. Oh, I like what, what Giefer has to say. What does Giefer have to say? Is the humane AI pin worth the money based on reviews? Is the humane AI pin worth the money based on reviews? Yeah, it said message ID 3. did not say Y-O-O. -O. So it just got, a, it just pulled the most random information. Finding reviews. <laughs> Imran, no! <laughs> Imran, no! Don't, don't strike my house! Recent reviews. The Humane AI pin has received mixed feedback, with some reviewers expressing disappointment in its functionality and value for the price. The device has been criticized for being clunky, limited, and not living up to its promises. However, there are also positive impressions, with some users finding it impressive at times. Overall, the reviews suggest that the Humane AI pin may not currently justify its price tag. This is nothing I want to ask it. What is your knowledge cutoff date? Sending airstrike right now. <laughs> Emron, no, please don't, bro. Please don't. What did say? This question is not related to AI pin. If you have other questions... I'm not going to lie. I do not remember what I asked it just now. I was so... What cutoff date is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you know about yeah. OpenAI? If he uses the pin to launch, you're totally safe. <laughs> Sending text message to Sam Sheffer. Sending drone strike. If there, if there are any humane employees... Artificial Intelligence Research Organization founded in December 2015. It is dedicated to researching artificial intelligence with the goal of developing safe and beneficial artificial general intelligence. The CEO oh. is Sam Altman, and the CTO is Mira Murady. OpenAI has recently introduced new AI capabilities, such as GPT, for Turbo, and fine-tuning API improvements. Yeah. It also offers That's an it. API for integrating machine learning models into projects. OpenAI remains an independent company governed by the OpenAI nonprofit despite a partnership with Microsoft. Yeah. Oh, I really want to demo something really impressive that I built myself. Jonah, I'm not going to have to hop off FaceTime for a minute. But you can watch the stream, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right. So I built, essentially, 
a much more personal version of AI, of the AI pin on my phone, right? So I named her Samantha after the Samantha from the movie Her. It responds faster, it's able to add to my notes and actually retrieve things long term. Um, tell me about the AI pin from Humane. Oh, I haven't run it in a while, so I have to like allow. It's essentially just an Apple shortcuts thing. It's oh, the AI pin from Hein sounds intriguing. It's not as Hein. more about it. What exactly is it used for, or what does it represent? I'm interested to learn more about it from you. Sorry, I meant the AI pin from Humane. It sounds like you're referring to something specific with the AI pin from Hein. Wait. I'm really curious about it. Could you explain a bit more? What is it about and where did you first hear or see it? I'd love to get into the details with you. I'm talking about the AI pin device that you wear and is AI powered and you can ask it questions and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure you've heard of it before. That AI pin device you're describing sounds like something from a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? Super cool concept. An AI-powered device that you can interact with on the go could be really handy. What got you interested in something like this? Have you seen it in action? Or is it more of an idea you're fascinated by? No, I just bought it just now, but it's not as impressive as I thought it would be. It's kind of disappointing. Uh, it doesn't get the right answers for a lot of things. But you, Samantha, my creation, I think, is a much better companion to someone who just wants someone to talk to. Oh, I'm sorry to hear the AI pin didn't live up to your expectations, Nicholas. But I'm here for you. Always ready to chat and make your day a little better. What do you feel like talking about right now? Or is there anything particular you'd like to ask or share with me? Goodbye. I'm done talking. I gotta FaceTime my friend Jonah again. Take care, Nicholas. Have a great time chatting with Jonah. I'm here whenever you want to talk again. Bye for now. Alright, that was Samantha, who's my personal creation, and I love her very much. <clears throat> Those vocal inflections are off-putting? Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm not saying it's better than the AI pin, by the way. That was kind of not true. I'm just saying, like, if you want someone to talk to, something like that is better than something like this, essentially. Because if this thing is really only there to give you information, and it gives you all the wrong information or it fails to retrieve it, it's not the best. Not, not all the wrong information. Like, you, you, gotta, you gotta be more... You, like, I understand that you're just fine, but you gotta give it a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. It does get stuff right. Maybe not as much as it should, but it does get stuff right. Yeah. Honestly, at this point, I'm not expecting the SDK anytime soon. Sometime 2025. But that's just a personal prediction. It's not based on anything. We'll, we'll be getting it? the SDK in the order at which you placed <laughs> your, your, your... Who is Kendrick Lamar beefing with right now? And then after this, we're going to get a battery percentage, and then I have to leave because I'm going golfing. On the Mars. On the Mars. Kendrick Lamar <laughs> is currently involved in a beef with Drake and Jay Cole. All right. What's the battery percentage? I, I will use the... Booster 86%. So we're at 8% right now. Uh, use the pin to keep your golf score. That's exactly what I'm planning to do. I'm going to take video. I will post it all on Discord and post the screenshots from Dot Center for sure. And subscribe to the YouTube channel so that we can do more streams like this. Right now, Nick's at 200 subscribers. There's 30 people watching. He should be at like 2.30 by the time he ends this stream. Yeah, actually. Right? Okay. Come on. We're offering something that no one else has a live chance to, to hang out with the AI pin before you get, the, your, to yeah. get yours. Giving live criticism, giving live review, so everyone here subscribe. Absolutely. Uh, oh, Travis Card, you're still in here. Thank God. I have one major question for you that I'm pretty sure you might not know the answer to, but it's something I wanted to ask someone from Humane, right? It is not a criticism of the AI pin, it's just a tech question. So, right before I got the AI pin and I got the shipping notification, I went to humane.center. And on humane.center, there was the option, it showed my phone number, showed my device, and there's also the ability to turn on vision. So, and it said it was in beta. So I turned it on and I read the description, 
it said it was being powered by GPT-4 Turbo. Uh, not GPT-4 Turbo, but GPT-4 Vision to process those requests. Like a disclaimer that like, oh, your information is being sent to OpenAI. Cool. When I got my AI pin, I tried using Vision and it wouldn't work. So I went to Humane Center and that option was disabled and I had to re-enable it. But now the description said it was powered by Gemini Pro. Now my question is, why did you guys switch from GPT-4 Vision, which is arguably a better performing vision model than something like Gemini Pro? Or were your guys's, were you guys, did you guys determine that Gemini Pro was better or was it just more cost effective? If you don't know, that's fine. But I'm really curious to know if you know about this. Also, to Preston in the chat who just said, should you cancel your order? I would say don't cancel your order. No, don't cancel your order. Give it a shot because it might be something that you like. But for me, I just don't you think can it's... You always return it within 30 days. So just give it give it like a 20-day shot and then return it if you hate it. Like that's, okay. I mean, I, I genuinely believe that everyone who has the opportunity should try it. Give it your own shot, you know? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, Travis said, I can't really share the reasoning on it, but we're constantly evaluating the models. Awesome. Well, that's exactly yeah. the answer I wanted. So if you thought that... Um, Vision was not disabled yeah. unexpectedly. It's actually kind of expected that it was disabled because I had agreed to give my information to OpenAI. You guys switched, and I had not agreed to give my information to Gemini until I turned it on. So that's very fair. Um, so it's actually better that you guys disabled it before shipping. So thank you for that. But yeah, Travis, if, if you or any of your colleagues would like to join the stream tonight, uh, if we yeah, do I will one, be streaming I'll later on. I will be going over my golf trip. Kind of, I'll be taking notes throughout with the AI pen, and even if the AI pen can't read the notes back. I still have to know some um, on the center. So, guys, so, thank yeah, you for joining live. Again, please subscribe. I will be going live later today. Um, hopefully with an AI uh, employee on the, on the call. Hopefully with, anyone... a, hopefully with someone. Uh, you share this link. Awesome. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm ending the live stream right now, though, so it's going to be empty live. Yeah. But, again, Bye, appreciate it, guys. I will see you. Have a great day.